the Six Days War on one hand made Israel for the first time in its history a regional superpower that is stronger than any country thousand miles around Jerusalem. At the same time, it, it had ignited an internal debate about the future of this area, especially Judea and Samaria, and what, what should we do with this opportunity. It brought us into connection with the holiest places of our history, but at the same time, it put us in a dilemma which is not simple. Uh, these areas are full of uh, human beings, uh, being Palestinians, uh, millions of them with clear uh, political aspirations. If we will keep the whole area from River Jordan to the Mediterranean under one political entity named Israel, the tragedy is that it will become inevitably, that's the key word, inevitably, either non-Jewish or non-democratic, because if this block of millions can vote, it is overnight a bi-national state. Uh, if we don't allow them to vote, it will become an apartheid system, which will also be deep into a, a harsh violence and with a permanent a question mark over its uh, sustainability. We have a compelling imperative to disengage ourselves from the Palestinians, not because of them, not because of the justice for the Palestinians, because of our own future security and identity. And it is not clear whether they are ripe now for such a solution, but there is a need for us to act decisively. Uh, Commanders for Israel security is a group that proposed such pragmatic, practical, concrete steps that should be executed right now. On a, another level, there is a need for a discourse in the, in the Jewish people, both abroad, in, especially with the youth uh, in North America, the future leaders of the Jewish people and future leaders of, of, of the world, part of the future leadership of the world and to raise this debate, to talk honestly about the challenges, about the options, about what should be done.